Bumblebee is the latest action adventure sci fi film from the Transformers series. It stars Haley Steinfeld, John Cena, Jason Drucker, and Pamela Adlin. This one is directed by Travis Knight, no Michael Bay to be found. The story begins on the alien planet Cybertron, home to the Autobots and Decepticons. As civil war ravages the planet, Bumblebee is tasked with escaping to Earth in an attempt to provide refuge to the Autobots. However, he loses his memory and voice along the way and ends up in a garage in 1987 San Francisco. Meanwhile, Charlie, played by Haley Steinfeld, is struggling with the demise of her father. She turns 18 and decides to gift herself a car when she encounters Bumblebee in his beetle form. Little does she know that he's on a mission and she's soon thrown into the thick of an intergalactic battle for supremacy. All right, now let's be honest. The moment a new Transformers film was announced, I pretty much did an eye roll going, oh no, not one of these again. Other than the very first Transformers film in 2007, the rest of all the entries became a tedious joke. Actually, they weren't even all that funny. Director Travis Knight, who also directed Cuba and the Two Strings, is certainly not Michael Bay, and thank goodness for that. He focuses on Charlie and her relationship with Bumblebee. The alien robot is childlike in his mannerisms, and some of the best scenes involve the two of them getting to know each other. Set in the 80s, the soundtrack anchors the storyline, especially since Bumblebee communicates mainly through a mixture of various sound clips. Haley Steinfeld provides the essential human factor sorely missing in the franchise so far. She's far from eye candy, as Charlie tries to find her own identity while dealing with grief. John Cena as Agent Burns is effectively menacing, but doesn't add much other than a standard, disruptive, authoritative figure with a bone to pick. Over the years, the Transformers franchise has become synonymous with Michael Bay's trademark bombastic action mayhem, which border on the verge of being obnoxious and often migraine-inducing. Bumblebee immediately sets itself apart from that approach, aiming towards a character-driven narrative rather than chaotic set pieces that stumble over themselves as things go boom. This isn't to say the action is lacking, far from it. The fight sequences are easy to follow and the CGI is practically seamless. Despite all the major plot points being typically predictable, because this is an origin tale after all, credit should be given to Travis Knight for achieving what one deemed impossible, erasing pretty much all memory of this film's problematic predecessors. I'm going with three and a half stars for Bumblebee. It is certainly the best example of what this franchise is meant to be. I mean, come on, this is a series about robots transforming into automobiles and choppers, so it's not exactly going to be life-changing in any way. Should the franchise continue this path, the Transformers can become exciting and enjoyable all over again. Guys, what do you think about Bumblebee? Do you think the series can be better off now that Michael Bay isn't directing? Let me know what you think in the comments and keep watching. It's entertainment. Only on Mirror Now, you first.